Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In our After Effects tutorial series, today we are going to generate a very good effect that is the handwritten text effect. In this, uh, the text will appear in front of you as if you are writing it from your hand. So first of all, let's preview that what we have to create. Okay, so now we have the answer to the question what. Now we need the answer to another question that how. So for this you need to go to composition. As you know the drill, create a new composition and name it anything that you want. I am uh, naming it handwritten. Then uh, set the frame rate to around 30 seconds. Duration of 5 seconds is good and hit. Now once your composition is created, I have imported this image. Then just drag it into your composition area. Adjust it as per your wish and don't worry the link of this image would be given in the description and if you want any other image just make sure that the image is of a texture of a paper it may be a brown paper or a pure white paper that's totally up to you i can just create a solid layer and make it look like a paper as per your wish so now what we are going to do is uh, just add a text layer uh, but before that we need to just lock it now we need to go to uh, the text tool to add a text layer. I'm going to type in text. And uh, of course this font looks terrible. So I'm going to change its font. Okay, so I have chosen my text font as Viner Hand IDC. And don't worry if you don't have it, I will uh, share the link to download it in the description. And change its color to a dark brown. Uh, okay like this it's perfect maybe a lighter brown or whatever the color you see perfect this is the hexadecimal value of the color that i'm using hit ok just bring this text uh, to the center both horizontally and vertically like this now this looks perfect now the next thing that we are going to do is generate masks for this particular text layer so zoom in a little bit around 100% or 200% as per your wish select the pen tool make sure that your text layer is selected then we got to make the masks now these masks have to be the same way as you write the letters on the paper for the T you have to first make this horizontal line and then this vertical line so we will start from here and make this horizontal line like this okay and then the vertical line select somewhere else then select this layer back and trace back this vertical line just like this okay now uh in the same way you have to do all the letters for the e you have to first go like this Make sure that you are replicating all the shapes as you are drawing them by hand. If you have any confusion, you can just take on a pen and a paper and uh, duplicate it. Just like this. Okay. Now, when you have completed with this, you need to just take your pen off from the paper and start with a new stroke. So for that, what we are going to do just go to this layer area and select somewhere else just click somewhere else now your text layer is not selected select it back and then start with it otherwise that stroke would uh, become a little bit unnatural just like this okay now we want to do T which is at a distance so we have to just break it select the text layer back again and just start from the top Now, once you're happy with the strokes, just change its zoom percentage to fit. Now, what we are going to do is go to effects and presets and search for an effect called stroke. 
you will find this stroke effect under generate just grab on to it and apply it to the text layer uh, you will find an option of path make sure that it is changed to mask one and um, actually we don't need it you need to just check this box of all masks and make sure that stroke sequentially is checked as well uh, just increase the brush size and make sure that all of your text is covered like this when your end is on 100% just change its value to 0% keyframe it on the very first frame move forward around uh, one second in time and change its value back to 100% but you have to go to paint style and change its type to reveal original image now if we just go and see what our animation is like now that looks good but if you are happy with it then it's okay if you want some other thing then you can just grab onto this layer hit ctrl 3 to duplicate it on the duplicate layer just delete this stroke effect and change the track mat of the first layer to alpha mat text layer 2 so it will generate a more smooth animation now if you want your text to be generated with a quill or a pen or anything like that uh, what you have to do is just go to file and import an image of that particular thing from where you want a text to be generated uh, like I have this with me now make sure that there is no background with that and uh, bring it just above your text layer like I have to change its angle and uh, its rotation a little bit like this and I'm going to change its size also now this is perfect now what I'm gonna do is just hit P on the keyboard to bring up position make sure that I'm to the very first frame and uh, just keyframe its position now this is a very delicate step you have to move frame by frame and with every frame you have to animate the position of this pen nib as per the stroke that is being generated so for that what you need to do is uh, just move on to the next frame here you will find the option to move on to the next frame in the preview tab just move on to the next frame and as you can see that in this particular frame this stroke is over here so just move the position of this nib to this particular point go on to the next frame move it here with the very next frame here you can move one frame at a time or around two frames at a time is also good Now once you have completed your animation you must move a few frames forward around three um around three to four frames and just move your pen nib to 
somewhat away from the text now just preview it from the very first Now this is what we have created and uh, I'm sure you all must have enjoyed watching at this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.